Screens. Screen. <laughs> hey, you looking to add another monitor to your computer? How about a third one or fourth one? Or heck, let's just add them all. Who doesn't need to be able to take their calculator from that monitor and drag it across there and across down and over there and across and over to there and voila. Who doesn't need to know how to do that? What is it gonna take, huh? Let's find out, let's jump right in. Hey, I'm Levi and in today's video, we're talking about hooking up multiple displays to a single computer. To do that, I'm gonna be using props like this to show you how exactly we're hooking things up. And that leads us to the first question. What do we have on our computer currently to hook up to? I'm holding a video card. It has tons of display ports on the outside here, many of which come standard on a computer, but let's talk about some of them. This one right here is a DVI, this is HDMI, like what you would want on your TV. And this is a display port. There's other ones, older ones, uh, something like VGA. In fact, I can show you using these cables right here. We've got a HDMI cable, we've got a DVI cable, and we've got a VGA cable. If your computer has any kind of extra ports on the back, that will tell you how many extra displays you can hook up. So let's look at the back of this guy right here. Over here, we've got a few on the actual motherboard itself. So this vertical display right here, this vertical area right here is the motherboard and what's built in. This is a DVI port built into the motherboard. This is a VGA port. And this is an HDMI port built right in. So theoretically, you could run three displays off of this computer right here. Now, this one itself actually has a an upgraded video graphics card down here thrown into the computer so that it could run two DVIs and it looks like a display port and an HDMI. Based on what your computer already has installed in it, or if you plan on purchasing more video graphics adapters like this to add more, that's how many you'll be able to hook up to your computer and however many the operating system you're currently using will support. Windows 10, currently it's running four with no problems. Let's go ahead and jump over into the computer and I'll show you what it looks like to hook it up on the software end of it. All right, so over here in the computer, let's go ahead and right click anywhere on the background where there's not an icon and click on display settings. Now here in display settings, it's gonna show a configuration of your monitors and mine is already set up here showing how I have it physically laid out with the landscape, one vertical and two more landscapes. And let me show you what I've got down here. Essentially, as you click through each monitor, it's going to give you the different settings for each one, the resolution, the orientation, all that good stuff. So for instance, on number four here, you can find out which one's which by clicking on identify and then it'll show four, three, four, one and two in the bottom left of each each one to figure out where they are so that you can click and drag these into the correct sequence of how you have them set up in physical space here. I'm going to cancel here and get back to it, but let me show you. So this is the main monitor here, number four. And if I have four highlighted and scroll down here on the page, I can show you that this one is checked as the main display. And we're running at 1080p. But let me just click on another one. So this one right to the right of it here, I'm going to click on that. Number three, here's what we're calling it. And it is set up to be an extension. So let me show you here under multiple displays. I just cl um, clicked in the display I wanted, scrolled down the page and it shows under multiple, multiple displays that I can extend the desktop to this display. And what that means is I can extend that much further space I want to use. Other things you can do having it hooked up is that you can duplicate the display. So if for some reason I want to have the exact same thing on this screen to show up on this screen, if for some reason you had them back to back and they were showing one was showing that way, one was showing this way. So maybe you're looking at one showing a presentation to a whole bunch of people on the other side. That would be why you'd want to duplicate the desktop. But for this purposes, we want to extend. We want more desktops. So we're going to extend and that's what you will change it to if for some reason it comes in in any other fashion. A lot of times it wants to come in defaulted to just duplicating the display. 
you move the mouse here, it moves over here. We don't want that, we wanna extend it. Go back up, click on the other displays like this big guy right here. They're calling it number one. Let's scroll down and look at that. On this one, I did change the display orientation from landscape to portrait so that I could get this up and down feel. And then under multiple displays, it is set up as extend the desktop. So it does extend it that much wider over to this one. And finally, on the fourth monitor here, same thing, just extend the desktop over to it. And as long as I set them up in this same order that they are in physical space, that's how I'm able to drag things across accordingly. And that's really all you have to do to set it up inside of Windows 10. Hit me up down below with any comments or questions that you might have. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Notify all the buttons below. And thanks for watching. Till the next one. Take care.